Oh my god. So the best part about catching this King George Whiting is the hunt and the adventure. Trying to get to the spot, it doesn't work. Sometimes it does, it doesn't. Your perseverance, your patience, and keep at it. The adventure. This is Dom's Fishing His Adventures. Oh, that's it. Oh, KG. Oh my God. Oh, is it going to be a big one? Just dinosaurs. Oh, oh. Just lost my voice. Right, oh. Just coming up to the ground. No, I'm trying to get into the spot. Whoa. Hit the brakes. A bit of a weed sandy patch. I'm excited. Let's get into it. First thing I'll do is throw out my squid jig. I get some fresh baits, great. I've got some old bait on board. Grab the pre bait from last trip. The tentacles, you can see they're reasonably fresh. Hasn't been frozen, so that's pretty good. Big long shank hooks. I think the size falls. So I'm going for the bigger species, even the whiting. Put these two beads and the little red tubing. Resembles the fish or the bait that they chew on, which is the little worms or big worms. It's a Panos rig. I'm using 40 pound line, it's a lot lighter than I usually do for whiting. Nice sink on the bottom. And I'm not even gonna sea anchor it, I'm just gonna drift. Let's see how we go. All right, bit of boom boom. Yeah, butterfish. Okay, that's a good sign. First fish of the day. Weed sandy bit. I got the sea anchor out now. So the minute you feel that suction, you need a strike. So I think I've lost, lost a bite in that one. I was getting a few bites, missed it. I think I might need a bigger sinker. So I'm a bit slow on the bite today. I've had a few bites, so I just can't strike them. Half asleep still. Just no fish. I think over here I've got a bit more structure, a bit more weed, a bit more reef. <laughs> Getting pretty really boring. Let's hope that changes. Boy, the sea anchor. The boy, the baits and rigs. Turn the engine off. Cross our fingers. We get a few fine specimens. All right, so I've got something here. Didn't realise I had him. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. Whew. That is not bad for first fish of the day. I mean, first edible fish. So that's a good fine specimen of a whiting. So yeah, it did pay to to move because it just not was not productive. And this one's a bit of a smallie. Obviously, on a Throw back, and even on the big hooks, the small one went for it. Oh, I just missed that bite. Here we go. There we go. So I had to let some more line out. It's not too bad, this one. Soon for the water. Oh, that was a good, fine specimen. Woo! Good, fine specimen of a whiting. That's beautiful. And, oh, just smack you in the camera. That's a beautiful one. Some more ice in here. So it's good I'm using this rig because the sinker is there and you've got a long leader. And with this long, fast drift rate, you know that's always going to be hitting close to the bottom where the fish are. This one's got hit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now, this one's promising. Please let it be a KG. No way, butterfish. <laughs> Big butterfish. Big juicy one too. False alarm. All right. Good bite here. Oh my God. This butterfish will give me the shits. Every time I think it's a KG, it's a butterfish. <laughs> I think I might move. It's just not happening. <laughs> right, so sorry for that silence. I thought the camera was off. But yeah, that was a nice whiting I, I caught before. Okay, now this feels promising. 
Yeah, I'll bite a fish. And another nice weight. All right, so he's half a decent size flathead. If he's size, I'll definitely keep him. Slim pickers today. Oh, and that one there is taking off. Oh, this one's come off. Bugger. Getting some good bites here. Just can't hook them up. Obvious. Oh, that's it. That's. Oh. That. Oh. That is not a butterfish. That is not a butterfish or flat is something good. But not be in northwest Florida. My god. Could be a little small shark. Small ray. What have I got? Holy moly. Oh woo woo! <coughs> Just lost my voice. Oh my god, and I was almost just giving up. That is a dinosaur of a King George Whitey. Now, I'm going to throw the rig back over because there was a couple of hits. Oh, I'll actually put that there. This has been so tough, and I want to capitalise. That is a mine dinosaur. I'm going to mark the spot. My god, he's just a, a fat species. Do the girth on that. And he really took the line there. I don't know. That is a whew! I had to measure him up. I'd say he's over 50. 57 centimetres, thank you. My biggest King George Whitey. <laughs> Mate, I was giving up. I said, ah. And but a bingski. Woo! Never give up. Yeah. Okay. Got another bite here. Don't know if he's a KG, it's a bit hard to tell. If he is, it'll be a lot smaller one. What do you got here? Oh, okay. Snapper. Well, talk about the demersal band. And the size, obviously. <laughs> Snapper. Right, so after all that action, yeah, the fat head's in. 34 centimetres. So he's going in for a few fillets as well. And that there's a, oh my God, huge whitey. King George, that one there just gave me curry and he pulled it offline. And he actually went for one of the smallest hooks I got to, using today. On just a little, little speck of squid squid piece on the hook so I was very lucky he didn't come off especially like near the boat you see him ah, and when it goes away <laughs> nothing worse alrighty some good curry on this one he died down so it's probably a butterfish oh no it's a big whiting oh that's nice uh, <laughs> that's a that's a nice addition to the, to the catch yeah I love those juicy whiting I was just pulling up the sea anchor. Oh, this is definitely uh, this is definitely what I'm looking for as well. Yep, is a KG. Oh, is it going to be a big one? This is going to be a big one. <laughs> I think, or maybe two. Oh my god, big KG. Woo! Boy. Just dinosaurs. So as I said, it's not a fluke. Definitely skill. <laughs> you gotta talk up yourself every now and then, there's nothing wrong about that. Nothing wrong about that fine specimen of a King George Whiting. It's actually smaller than the other one. And I could just tell when they fight through the water. Yeah, 54 centimeters. Still a lovely fish. Lovely fine specimen. Oh, it's alrighty. Right, I've got a fish I'm trying to get the camera going. 
and the audio is not working. And I lost my fish. I lost my fish. Trials and jubilations of YouTubing. When you want to try and catch a fish, I definitely had a good one. It's all about the camera. It's all about getting the shot. Camera just uh, now distracted. When you have the fish, you just got to keep that pressure on. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's not a KG. If it is, it's a small one. No. Butterfish. So I might go over that spot again because I saw the other rod who was moving around too. I think it's time for a beer. I've got non alcoholic beers on board, but I need one of these real beer. So look. Also, if you're new to the show, I highly suggest to subscribe, keep up to date. Yeah, no. Nah. No KG. Oh, hang on. It is a KG. A little small one. For oh, goodness me. Compared to the ones I'm getting, that is tiny. He is a legal size, 30 centimetre. But I'm going to let him go. Because when you get him like 55s, what's the point? There you go. He's gone. Hopefully that guy can make uh, more babies. Next year there'll be a lot more. Oh, oh. Couple of bites and then a bit of weight and it stopped. This is definitely a butterfish. I oh, know he's not. He's a KG. Okay. Righto. Beautiful. So definitely honing into the skills and catching these fish but that one there's a lot smaller by species I'll measure him up he's definitely a sizey there's 43 I think that rod's going off <laughs> that's a 43 specimen beautiful fish I, I might uh, make a good day of a King George whiting and really start off a really slow day and all I'm doing for the KGs is uh, fishing in an area where there's sand and weed together. It's quite patchy. I haven't caught any calamari today, which is surprising. I've sort of given up. But, um, yeah, so definitely weed and sand. It's a spot for your King George whiting. Certain areas will have them, certain areas won't. Alrighty, let's check out the catch. Don't know if it's the final catch because I'm still fishing, but I, I'm pretty, um, so I have to say I'm very content. That's that brute of a 57 centimetre King George Whiting. Lovely fish, lovely, lovely, beautiful fish. And this is the uh, almost smaller one, a bit more fresh in colour. That's a nice one, that one there. I just love these fish, terrific. So that's two. As I said, I caught, oh no, I actually caught three. <laughs> that's the one that's smaller. And I caught another one off camera. He went over 32 centimeters. I thought I'd keep him anyway. So that's four King George and, oh yeah, one flatty and a few of these thumper whiting. All righty, see you home for the cook up. That's cold. Check out this beast, beautiful uh, King George Whiting. So the first thing to do is definitely fillet this beautiful fish. And I'm gonna leave the scales on and the skin. In fact, I'll fill it and yeah, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So with the sharp knife, 
just cut it along this bond here. I think it's called the dorsal fin. And get the knife to the to the backbone. You can actually feel that and you can hear it too. Try and get that knife as close as possible to the to the backbone as well so you don't waste any valuable flesh. There are many different ways of filleting fish, or well, actually not too many, but <laughs> mine is uh, something I've developed. And I've seen other people um, actually use it, not because of me, but maybe it's the correct way. Probably not the fast way, because I usually only have a couple of fish to process at any one given time. So just cutting that off there. And what I prefer to do is bring the knife and try and carve the flesh away from the rib cage. Okay, so that is quite a big fish. Whew. So, so grateful I can get out there and hunt these fish down. Regardless of what I do, I try and promote sustainable fishing, promote to consume all the fish, and also promote the rules and regulations. You know, the size limits and bag limits. I still get comments saying, you're too greedy, you're taking away too much, blah, 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 and I've just had a gutful. Bad luck, I think this is pain jealousy. Look at that. All right, so that's how we trim it. Obviously, all along here, we've got to get rid of the middle bits. That's perfect. Righty, let's get into the cook-up part of the side of things. Now, I already did a cook-up, and I didn't realise I'd already done it. I'll quickly show you a quick brief view of what I did. <laughs> That's right, it was a piece of it. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to try this again. I've saved some fillets. I've got a fry pan here. Cut them in half. Oh, make sure I don't drop them. Get this fish into the oil. Now, I don't want to cook it all the way through. As you can see, I've got some other ingredients. Look at that fish. That is just magnificent. Mind you, what they were big riding, King George riding they are, mind you. So I just want to put a nice crisp on one side. Mind you, I've already salted them. Well, that's what I wanted. And I don't want to cook this all the way through. That's a bit white, that one. In the meantime, we've got a, some onions which I want to throw in. That's the phase two of this dish. Red onions and garlic. Okay, so that's enough for the time being. Put it, take them out. Oh, still alive. Then we chuck in a couple of uh, Roma tomatoes. Probably to a little sauce, but not really much. I want it nice and chunky. Throwing some some beans, red beans. I would have preferred white beans, but I can't find them in the in the pantry. So we're painting painting the cook up red today. Red beans and whatnot. Got a little bit of oregano, just a bit. And believe it or not, I've got some olives. I would have preferred the whole olives, but these are chopped up already. There we go. Bit of seasoning. Now some herbs, I've got some beautiful basil right here. And as per usual, some, some parsley. Just looks great. Yeah, just cook this away for like a good good five minutes. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of water so it gives it enough juice for it to cook. I mean, it smells great. Those olives coming through. Absolutely. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Nice and neutral. Just a touch of couscous to soak up the, uh, the sauce. There we go. Time for a beer. Right, where's my stash? Here we go. Just 
just let that slowly cook off. I'm not going to stir it, just going to let it be. It's almost going to steam because I'm not going to stir it in the sauce yet. Put the lid back on. Oh, look at that, and I've just fogged up the bloody lens. <laughs> what do you reckon? Good fish, Tucker? Yeah, that's really yum. That's coming up really good. Some of this beautiful yummy sauce. Down the side. Let's um, do the taste test. No tasters, we're just going to hoe into it. Ooh. Sliced up all that. Get some of this beautiful stuff. Look at that. Mmm. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. King George Whiting is a neutral fish. You can use almost anything with it. Simple is best. I reckon I've done a good job here. It is nice and simple. But it's got a bit of extra sauce and flavour and veggies. Beans, the olives, the tomatoes, Doma Petite. This is great. Anyway, see you next time. Have a great time. Fish, taka, 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 fish, ta